We are now in step 18.7, which is all about adding shading and borders and also applying styles to a Microsoft Excel document. Just like you learn how to apply shading and borders and also styles in Microsoft Word, we can enhance the appearance of, the, of our document in Excel just the same. So let's go ahead and get started. You need to be in your billing three document. So if you don't have it open, go ahead and open it. And we will save this document as billings four. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is click in cell C7. And on your home tab, in your font group, find your fill color button. Looks like a paint bucket. Get that screen tip. And if it's not red in the paint bucket, drop down on the arrow to select red from your menu. And notice when you select the red from the paint, because we have this cell selected, it changed the fill color to red. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is get a little shortcut by double clicking on your format painter button in your clipboard group. Double click and when you move your mouse over your document you should have a paintbrush that represents your format painter button is toggled on. So select um, Click on cell C11, C13, and C14. Then notice all you have to do is click in the cell and it automatically formats to the red format because that's what the format painter does. It paints whatever format that you have set and remember in order for it to do a continuous painting you have to double click so in order to turn it off toggle off you can simply press escape on your keyboard and that turns your so the next thing that we'll do is select A1 and in your font group click your borders button and select bottom border deselect the cell and notice you have a thin border line under your title row merge and center my title not sure what happened but that should be merged and center Alright, and then select A1 again, and this time we will click our Sales Style button in our um, Styles group. And notice that you have several different predefined styles to choose from. It doesn't matter which one you select, I think I will go with the uh, Heading 3 accent 3 which is 60 percent and notice it's shaded in my header row okay so the next thing we need to do is we're going to select a range of cells from A2 to C14 which is all of the cells in our table and go to your format as table button and again notice you have different styles that you can spruce your table up with um, I want to stay in line with the table that the same color range that I selected for my 
column, my my title row. So I think I'll go with um, trying to get the script table style medium four. Again, you select. Now, format as a table. So you get a dialog box that opens. Go ahead and click OK. And notice that not only is my table has my table been formatted, but also notice these arrows that have been added to my um, my table. Deselect your 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 table, and the arrows are basically filters. You can actually filter your data by dropping down on the arrows. So if you recall in um, Word, you sorted your data in your table. You can do the same thing in Excel by using the filter. We'll get back to that later. Click cell C2. And um, on the Home tab in the Alignment group, Click your middle align button. And now your data has been middle aligned in your C2 cell. So the next thing we want to do is convert the table back to a range. Because if you notice, it's a table right now. So we want to convert it back to a range. So notice. Just like in Word, guys, when we work with table, if I click outside of my table, my table tools tab is gone. Click back in your table, and notice I have a table tools design tab, just like in Microsoft Word. So click on your design tab, and you want to find convert to range in your tools group right here click on that button and it gives you a dialog box that asks you do you want to convert the table to a nor normal range and you want to say yes and notice the filters are removed from my table and notice also that my table tab is gone because my data is no longer in table form so we actually set it up in table form when we formatted it as a table, which um, allowed you to have your table tools. But once we converted it back to um, range, which is like normal data in your spreadsheet, it removed those options. So we did several formats to our data. We selected the title and shaded and added a table style and also format painted certain cells within our Excel spreadsheet. So you've now learned how to spruce up your Excel spreadsheet by doing several different formats. Go ahead and save um, this step and I will see you back on step 18.8.